Hey guys, it's me Sasuke 3 and I'm here for a baking video. And the last time I did a baking video, well not exactly baking, a video about my cooking, people told me never to cook again. You guys are so very supportive. So, so very supportive! For those of you who haven't seen Windsor in a while, say hi! Say hi to the little thing. You're so big. Oh, could you let go of, no, let, let go of Rose. No, no, bad! Let me have my webkins back! Anyways, today we're gonna to be making cookies. Chocolate checkerboards. And for all of you wondering where I get so many cookie recipes, need I say more? So first off, we need to beat the shortening butter, sugar, vanilla, and salt into light and fluffy. Well, I don't use shortening. I just replace it with butter, so we're just gonna... Yeah. I'm sorry, what? I totally did not have to go back and soften the butter again. Nope. Okay, we need one cup of sugar. Doesn't that look so tasty? Sugar. Also, a little thing to note, before baking, which I forgot to mention earlier, you want to clean your kitchen because you need to have something to get dirty. Other than your hands. And your face. And the walls. And the ceiling. And the floors. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. This looks really, really good. And it also smells really good. I love the smell of vanilla. But you don't want to drink it because it's alcohol. <laughs> but vanilla makes everything better. And lastly, we need salt. I hate these tops. Like the little metal, it always goes under your fingernail and stabs you. It hurts. It's not fun. I'm totally missing, missing the measure thing. I get to use this weapon now. We need to beat in the egg. You guys never see my right hand, do you? Huh. Did you know I had one? That could have gone better, but at least you get a shell in there. And we need to stir in flour half cup at a time. No. Seriously, just sifting it in is too much work. No one wants to sift in flour. No one. Stir in. I'll take forever. I never follow a recipe. I, I'm such such a good cooking role model. Okay, so I did hand stir it a little bit, but this is how it looks. I don't know about you, but it looks pretty yummy to me. Just gotta dust the flour off me. Anyway, this next step is to divide the dough in half. So wash your hands. Do it. No, nobody likes greasy hands. That's how you divide the dough in half. Done. That could have gone better. <laughs> That's my life motto. Could have gone better. If you see, I kind of made it so there's like little pouches, which you will see why right now. This here is baking chocolate. This is not a chocolate bar. Don't be like me. Don't be that little kid thinks the chocolate bar goes, takes a piece, takes a bite out of it just to realize there's no sugar. Don't. <laughs> you need two squares, which is that much. No, this much is not four squares. That is four rectangles. We need squares. And then you drop it here. Now this is a pot that has this thing on it, and underneath it is water that is heating up on the stove. It'll get hot and melt, so you can blend it into the cookie dough. And that is how you make these cookies. Now, it might say to melt the chocolate and cool it, but FYI, how do you melt chocolate? You heat it up. When it cools, it hardens. Just saying. Why was I smart and grab my tripod? I don't know because I'm me. Is this hot? No. Yes. No. So that's what it looks like. And they say to stir it in with a spoon, but that is literally im im impossible. See, now imagine how hard that would have been with a spoon. Now, we don't ever keep white baking chocolate around. So, we're, I'm just melting uh, white chocolate chips for this. So, if you want to, go ahead, just melt regular chocolate chips. You can. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I think I put in a little too much. Huh. <laughs> Whoops. 
Okay, and the last step is to refrigerate it for a little bit. These aren't really refrigerate cookies, like they have to be refrigerated. They just tell you to do that because you're obviously going to mold them and it's supposedly easier to work with cold dough. I don't get it. When it's cold and you move it a little bit, it breaks. Well, I, no, I don't, mm. Okay, so here they are, all wrapped up in wax paper and ready to be chilled. You wanna have them about the same size. It's okay if they're not exactly the same. Nobody's perfect and it's impossible to keep them exactly the same. And if you somehow can, then you're a freak of nature. And there we go. Now this is probably the time to pick up that huge mess you made. Just remember the number 325. Now that you've cleaned up your kitchen, clean up your camera. Seriously, I got stuff all over this thing. Hey. Do you want a treat? Forget it. That is how to get a cat off the counter. Haven't been cooling that long, but whatever. I'm just gonna make the cookies tomorrow, actually. Just, you know, just let the dough chill overnight. You're going to want to cut these in four or nine strips. So let's cue the montage. So there we go, all that's really done left to do is bake them. Now, anyone who's made cookies probably is going to be saying, you're supposed to use egg white and water to bind them together. Well, I don't do that because these are very, very buttery cookies. So I'll go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. And the reason I'm not baking it tonight is because it's getting dark. So I will see you guys in three, two. What, you thought I was actually gonna wait till one? <laughs> okay, I'll reuse that joke. Also, hope you remember the number 325 because I did. Nothing is nothing to do with that I showed on camera, and I had to, and I edited the video today. But ne ne never mind. The important thing is the number is 325, and the oven's set to that. Okay. Now you need this cooking spray stuff. I'm not good at this, and I'm doing this left-handed. So let's see how this goes. Uh, um, I'm gonna have to wipe some of that grease off. You guys see nothing right now, okay? Freaking greasing stuff is hard. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. What do you want? What? what? You know I'm cooking, don't you? Oh god, this is really... They're stuck together! Well, um... I'm gonna take a knife and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna chop, chop, chop and stick them in the oven. So, montage, I guess. I guess. Okay, so I filled up this one cookie sheet, and this is how it looks. The cookies aren't the prettiest in the world, but, you know, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this for fun. The oven's all preheated, so in they go. They can cook while I'm slicing the rest of the log. Okay, so I had to get another tray. The other ones still aren't done cooking, as you can see. 
They're getting there. They're getting. Whoa. <laughs> but right now, we just have to wait. And wait. This calls for Animal Crossing. And they are done. I think that works. Probably not the best idea, but it works. And the camera doesn't like to focus, but uh, it's done. So there you go, there's the cookies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe I'll make more baking videos in the future. You snap me, it'll be like a once in a while thing. I don't know, kind of like gaming. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.